A Thailand's prime minister has slammed the country's central bank, demanding that it cut interest rates because inflation has turned negative. He says that rates staying elevated could cause trouble for low-income earners as well as for businesses. This marks another disagreement between the government and the central bank on monetary policy. CNA Saksith Sayasombat reports from Bangkok. Thai Prime Minister Seta Tawisin is on a collision course with the Bank of Thailand again, urging them to cut interest rates amid negative inflation. Mr. Seta aired his disagreement on social media, saying that the central bank has raised interest rates, arguing it's not good for the economy at all and will hurt low-income people and SMEs. He hoped that the Bank of Thailand or BOT would help take care of people, implying that he wants to see the rates go down, not up. In fact, the Bank of Thailand has left its policy rate unchanged at 2.5% since September as a means to curb inflation. That is going to be reviewed next February. December's inflation rate is at minus 0.8%. That's already eight months in a row that it is off target from the central bank's projection of 1% to 3%. Since taking office in September, Prime Minister Seta insists the Thai economy is in a crisis. And indeed, Thailand's growth since the COVID-19 pandemic is lagging behind its neighbors, with a growth forecast of only about 2.4%, which is even lower than the growth rate of 2022. Mr. Sitar, a former property tycoon himself, he believes that only big stimulus and big consumer spending can revive the country's economy. And a major piece of the puzzle to that is the so-called digital wallet. This is the government's flagship policy and a major campaign promise of the ruling Per Thai party during last year's election. The plan is to give 50 million Thais a handout of 10,000 baht each, a little less than 300 US dollars, in order to jolt consumer spending. The price tag for this whole project is at 500 billion baht, or about 14 billion US dollars, which the government wants to borrow. On Monday, an independent legal advisory board to the government has now cleared the loan part of the scheme, which will enter parliament in form of a loan bill in the next few weeks. If passed, then the digital wallet is set to launch in May, a few months later than initially aimed for. Economists and former central bankers have panned this digital handout scheme, saying that it's fiscally irresponsible. And the current governor of the Bank of Thailand, he's quietly disagreeing with at least the scope of this digital handout. Now, this is not the first time that the Bank of Thailand and Prime Minister Seta Tawisin are not seeing eye to eye about how to get Thailand's economy out of the rut. What both sides could agree on is that the remedy for this should come rather sooner than later. Success, Sombat, CNA, Bangkok.